Welcome to Boy Mind. What's going on, everybody? Just taking a look at the collection. Um, updated. I did a cut a couple couple of customized figures. Here we have the Hush Batman. Right, got to give props to Five Points of Articulation. He was the first one to do it, and uh, hey, it worked out pretty well. Took a hair dryer, put some glue in back of the mouth, and let it cool off, and then uh, had the mouth closed, and it has that grimacing face. Um, I, I like it. Like, hey, man, thank you. <laughs> and we have our unmasked Bruce Wayne. And we have, uh, I got to paint the uh, head, but here we have the Nightfall Batman. Here we have um, customized Johnny Walker, still working on it. I, I might like, I might leave it that way and just call it a uh, ultimate um, U.S. agent. Here we got Dead Man on the stand. Um, you can check out my other video with the Justice League Dark. This right here by far is my favorite uh, Catwoman. As far as from the Batman the movie. I know they had the full face mask one. But this one. This is a McFarlane Gold label. Stumble upon it at a Walmart. Yeah the uh, exposed mouth makes a big difference. Getting uh, the Flash universe together. I know Pulse came out. So. See if I could get that going. I, I've, I I have Reverse Flash and the Barry Allen Flash in a box. I just got to break them out. Everybody remember this? When this comic came out, that Captain America was a, a Hydra agent. <laughs> and here we have the Hush Batman, the blue and gray version. I like this Hulk right here, the 20th anniversary. The Toy Biz card back. Black Knight, Black Lightning from the DC um, Collectibles or DC Direct. McFarlane need to stop playing and make that figure. Unmasked Batwoman. Beyond. And then uh, I like the full mouth covered Batman Beyond. I got the gargoyles. I'm just waiting on Bronx and Lexington. It's a soldier. John Wick. These NECA figures, um, when they came out, they were just a hit from the get-go, especially the Superman and the Greenland. Check out the complimentary van with the Alex Ross drawing. And of course, we have the DC collectibles. Well, pardon me. DC Injustice Storm Collectibles Dark Side. Custom Bane. No OJ, no straw with the fists. Put this mummy collection together. I'm waiting to update. Uh, my Legion of Doom with the new Black Manta that's coming out. Hopefully, McFarlane gives us a Toy Man. And uh, I need a old school um, Scarecrow. I might replace him with the Arkham Knight Scarecrow. Yo, can we give it up for Bloodsport's helmet? <laughs> this thing is dope. I've always been a fan of that helmet. It's my uh, custom uh, Joker clown. What's that? Uh, Yo-Yo. Um, I got to make a custom Yo-Yo from the Flashpoint. Got Flashpoint Batman with the gun flash effects. Custom Ghost Rider. Got the Batman family. The Thickums Catwoman. See a gun toting Batman in the back. My bag, the Grim Knight. 
I don't know if you can see that box in the back, but that's me. Can anybody guess the box in the back? What Marvel figures are in there? Got the Galactus. Still have to find a place um, to set this figure up. I'm thinking somewhere along with the Fantastic Four and the other cosmic beings. You see a Captain Marvel up there. It's my Marvel Legend side profiles. Thanos and Robocop. Red Guardian. So I got the Spider Man and a Renew Your Vows, and bef behind that, um, I don't know if y'all can see it. <sighs> Bam! The Toys R Us exclusive. I got that shortly uh, after Toys R Us went out of business. Blue Beetle Classic. Superboy Prime. Hammer. We got Union Jack and Peggy Carter. Then we got the Hydra Stomper. We got Destro, a uh, retro card back. Fun fact about uh, Destro in the old um, 1980s cartoon, he was voiced by, I forgot the actor's name, but he also played um, Bill Cosby's father on the Huxtables um, on the Cosby show. Doomsday with that stance. I ain't playing with you. 